Hi, this is Carl. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This little short series of videos is going to be on the work sharp sharpening systems. You can see here I have three different types here. This is the WS3000. This is the WorkSharp Ken Onion Edition. And this is the older style work sharp sharpening system. I'm not familiar with the numbers on these right now, but numbers don't really matter. So we're going to do at least three videos on these. This being the first one, the Ken Sharp being the second video, Work Sharp 3000 being the third video. So let me go ahead and get these moved out of the way. We're going to start with this one. Get these moved out of the way and when time allows I will come back to these. And on this video, let's go and start with this. This is the original, well I don't know if it's the original, but it's the first one that I bought. Here we go. Very basic, plastic, heavy duty, six foot cord. Does not have the ground on the cord. So, very lightweight, probably pound and a half, two pounds at the most. Hmm, I think I paid around $50 for it. A friend of mine got me a deal on it from the local vendor at a woodworking show. Has these two accessories right here. This is the the main motor right here. Not the main motor, but the only motor. Off and on switch on the bottom. Has two different settings. One, you can set it for push it this way, it stays on all the time. This way, you have to pull the trigger for it to be on. Both of them has their advantages. Now this is the actual head itself. Has a little knob right here you can push or pull out and this will rotate to the desired angle that you might want to be working with. And if you keep on turning it, it will come apart for easy cleaning. Let me take this off right now. We'll come back to this. Now this is the main working unit right here. Go ahead and slide this back on. Lock that into place. I'm going to put it in yeah, that position right there for this tutorial purpose. Now it comes with three different types of belts, or three different kinds of belts, not types. We have a purple one, a green one, and a red one. All three being different, different uh, grits. The purple one is like a micro mesh, very, very fine. The green one is around 80 grit, and the red one is 220 grit. Now these are approximately, uh, not exact grits. To put the belts on, just push this down, twist it a little bit, and it'll stick into place. Very easy to do, it's on a spring. Take the green belt, which is the 180, excuse me, the 80 grit. Slide it around in this groove right here. Should go on pretty easy. There we go. Believe me, it's a lot easier than what I just made it look. And the belt is on. Let's plug it in. Okay, 
You'll see this red knob right here on the front. That is for tracking. That will center up your belt depending on which way you move it. So I have it on. I'm going to put it in a constant run mode right there. You can see how the belt is tracked in the center. If it was off a little bit, just turn this red knob a little bit. There we go. Looks good. Do that just a little bit more. There we go. That's in good position. Okay, let me move these belts out of the way. We have two accessories here. Gray one, black one. Black one is for indoor knives, kitchen knives. The gray one is for outdoor knives and scissors. Now this connects on here pretty easily. You see the slot that's right here and these two nuts right here it just slides right on there we go just like that still runs pretty good okay this is 25 grit so how do you sharpen knives? Let me grab a knife down here off the floor and I'll be right back with you. Okay, this is an inexpensive knife that I bought. I don't, don't remember, quite remember where I bought it from. But I do have it. And it comes on through there. If you put it on your table, it's got these rubber feet on the bottom. It's not going to move. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Now what we're going to do is put the knife in here and pull it back following the contour of the blade. So the further back you come, you want to follow the blade and, and turn it up like this. Now you do not want to have the machine on, put the blade in and pull it back. Want the machine be off, put the blade in, all the way to the end where you want it, turn it on, now you do not want this to sit in one position for exterior extended amount of time. It will put like a little divot in the blade. So, put it in, turn it turn on, pull it back. Now you don't want to put a lot of pressure down and on either, so just let the weight of the knife be the amount of pressure that you're putting on here. So, let it let it fall in. There we go. Then we're going to this side. Now, ideally, you want to turn off the machine when this point gets about halfway through the, to the end. Take some practice to do that, but you'll get used to it. Now you'll do that until you feel like a little burr on the side of your blade. I don't feel it on this side, but it is on this side, a slight burr. So I'm going to do this a few more times. Turn this a little bit this way. 
can be a little bit awkward with me going back here. So let me go a little bit this way right here. That is on intermittent. This way is on full. You don't want that. Put the knife in, the blade in. Pull it back. Stop. This side. I don't know if you can see it from this angle, but there's a shine where it has sharpened the knife. Let's do a few more strokes on here. Have a good one right here. So we're going to do the same thing. Goes in here, follow the contour of the knife. Okay, now we're going to unplug it. Always wear some kind of eye protection while you're doing this. Push this down, twist it. Put on the red. Not, well, it's more of a brownish red color. Let's see. Hooks around there. Okay, I'm going to do a few more strokes with this one. Put the blade in. Lay it against the wall. Anyway. Do this and then you'll go to the purple belt, give you a much finer edge on here. So basically the same deal for the kitchen knives. Oops, let me unplug it first. Take this off. Put this black one on. This way. Let me grab a kitchen knife. Same basic ideas using the hunting knives, outdoor knives, as with the kitchen knives, but you're using a different attachment for a different angle. Anyway, that's the basics of using the older style work chart. Okay, questions or concerns? I encourage you to watch more videos or refer to the owner's manual. It does come with a CD also. Easy to learn, easy to use. Well worth the money. I think you'll be pleased with it. My name is Carl. Appreciate you being with us today.